month. So I'm kind you're of working. A you're a pro I don't. For those who are new, you're a professional hypnotist. I am, yeah. It, it, do you think, um, in terms of sale, I'm going to ask you a load. I love picking your brain, if you don't mind. Um, okay. do you, <laughs> and you're so gen, you're so generous with your wealth of knowledge. That was a stroke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Is hypno is is hypnosis fit into sales and persuasion? Are we really doing a mild form of hypnosis, which is a very scary word to people? What you guys call indirect or um, what's the other word? Um, conversational hypnosis. Are we really doing that in sales with some people? Yeah, um, I, I get this question all the time, and the reality no. is, yeah, the, the reality is everything is hypnosis like it there's such a misconception of what hypnosis is that it, it, it it's it's I, I sometimes i cannot believe it like because most people think you're, you're swinging a watch whereas that actually hypnosis is focus it's it's intensity it's it's getting to the core of someone's um compassion someone's empathy it's getting to getting to the, the real person the feelings the motivations and the way you speak with people it's it's about the focus, we're, we're, we're surrounded by, there's so much focus from, from, from emails, from television, from radio, from, from, from uh, pictures, symbols, and everything takes your focus every second of the day. That is hypnosis. Hypnosis is taking your focus. And the biggest problem, in, the biggest problem that I see is that people need to be dehypnotized, not, not hypnotized. Everything, everything that you're doing is based on the, pro the, the process and programming that you have been given since you were a child. And you can, only, you can only be programmed to do more of that. So, so for instance, if you, were, if you had a bad childhood and let's say, for instance, that you got, you, got, you, got, you got slapped around and then hugged afterwards, well, you, you, would, you would see that as love. Your idea of love would, love would, would be being abused that would be love to you because every word has a meaning and a connotation like i could say i could say um what a lovely puppy but if that puppy bit you when you were younger and you had a fear of dogs i would i could say to you that what a lovely puppy but you you would actually hear fear and anger and resentment and god knows what other emotion might, might, might be going through your head how do we use that in how do we use that in sales in talking to someone about real estate or anything how do we use that in sales to persuade somebody who has a, a fear of salesmen, for instance, or something like that? If, if, if the best way to do it is to find what you're, what, but kind of what you're doing is to ask questions, is to not assume anything. Like I remember, I remember I had a client um, for, for an alcohol issue and they were saying that they were, um, I'll never forget it because it really, it really shocked me. It was a real learning curve. They said they're doing, they drink uh, two, they have two drinks every night. And, it was only in the third session that I found out that what they meant by two drinks was two bottles of wine <laughs> a night. A night. So I, I was like, holy shit, that's a lot. But in my head, two drinks a night wasn't that bad. Little bottles. Yeah, exactly. Little bottles. <laughs> so so it's, it's not to assume, never assume, and to, and to ask questions. If there's anything you're in doubt about, get them to find out. So when they say, oh, I just want to be happy. Well, what is happy? What does happy look like? If you, were happy, if you were happy and you looked around you, what would you see? Okay. Ryan had a question. A Adrian, um, so if everything is hypnosis and it's taking our focus, like how do I hypnotize myself for success? First, define, how do you define Great success? Question. Okay, so I, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Think, but did you see what Adrian just did to you, Ryan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he he re redirected his own question, and and I don't know if you even noticed it. It, it you all of us. You asked a question. All of a sudden, he, he took control, and now you're thinking, and you've got intention and focus, and he's in total control of you at this moment, right? Stop that, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, yeah, so I think the qu success can be defined differently by each 